Okay, here we are. We're now on Manchester Road southbound, uh, going out of Bolton towards Farnworth. Um, and in this case, the bus has passed very close because that driver believes this cycle lane is sufficient space to give a cyclist. This next one is a left hook. I should be much further out into the road there, but I'm using the cycle lane, which, uh, which is just not adequate. Uh, this driver is extremely impatient, but again believes that the dashed line along the cycle lane is some kind of magical barrier that protects me from his car. Just not adequate at all. And then this bus, bus driver, who actually goes through a red light, again thinks the cycle lane is enough space to leave for a cyclist, and the cycle lane is just inadequate. Now we're on Manchester Road going northbound, uh, the stretch that runs parallel to St Peter's Way, and these drivers all believe that this cycle lane is adequate. The cycle lane is about a metre wide. Here. not 1.5 meters and in fact not 2 meters as it should be on a busy road like this. Now we're um, just approaching Bolton College, um, this is Orlando Bridge and these cars are left hooking me and that's because I'm too close into the edge in the cycle lane there. This dreadful cycle lane between the carriageways uh, is often a problem because cars simply cut across it. It's badly designed. The car drivers should drive better, but actually the cycle lane is part of the problem. This bus driver believes that since, because I've just left the cycle lane, this is adequate space to leave for, uh, for a cyclist. Back on this stretch that runs parallel to St Peter's Way, and again, the drivers think that cycle lane is adequate. Now we have a problem of the cycle lane on Manchester Road going towards Bolton. Uh, where cars encroach onto the inadequate cycle lane and I have to negotiate my way out into the traffic. To be honest, I don't use this cycle lane anymore. I always drive right in the middle of the carriageway, but that does cause me some conflict with drivers because the cycle lane is there and they believe I should be using it. Now this is at night on the stretch of, um, of road running parallel to St Peter's Way. Uh, the first one was a close pass. This one is a driver that cuts across and technically doesn't enter the cycle lane, so believes that everything is fine. Now we're um, on uh, the, one of the places where the cycle lane is really badly designed, going out across the traffic flow, and uh, the first one was a cut-up, uh, the next one is where a bus believes that that cycle lane indicates that that's adequate space, and it isn't. Um, and then the, uh, the last one is a dreadful case of somebody cutting me up on that very badly designed cycle lane. And now we're on the stretch of the A666 going from Farnworth towards Salford. Um, and you'll see that uh, I'm having difficulty here because I have to uh, negotiate my way between the, uh, the parked cars and the cycle lane goes through their door opening zone and this van on the right which believes that that space is sufficient to leave for a cyclist when it isn't. And here I'm having to negotiate my way around parked cars and uh, the vehicles just go far too close. Again, I should be, I should be further across. Um, the cycle lane just, just is inadequate and shouldn't be there. The, the traffic island itself is part of the problem there. 